No, it's not Siri on the oh, Google. Well, Siri whatever system. you know, you, with the voice that talks to you, whatever direction thing you get, your navigation, GPS, yeah. whatever. Um, Brian's lived here his whole life. I, I've lived here since 1987. So, anyways, most of my life. But, um, anyways, she pronounces all the streets wrong or a lot of areas wrong. Does anybody else have this issue? It drives him nuts and he corrects her. No, I what drives me nuts is she says, she says, well, maybe she's right. Maybe you're mistaken. <laughs> and it's like, you know, I know. <laughs> I know the family it's named after him. I know those people. For example, there's a development in Dallas, oh okay? My. And it's on Lalac. And the guy that developed its name is Andy Lalac. He was good friends with my grandpa. Sure. Okay, been around forever. Well, that's Siri Broad or whatever her name is, computer generated. She says Lalac. Yeah, and then she calls it uh, Uglo. And it's like, it's Uglo. The and best, the best one, I will give him this one. It's it's PD, it's PD, and every time we head there, because we deliver out that way a lot, every time, instead of saying PD, which I don't get this one at all, I do get some of her other ones, like Levens, Levens, La Creole, La Creole, whatever, but uh, she says PEDX for PD. Maybe double E in French is X, I don't know. Double E's not X in French. It must be, somewhere. Mississippi Coo, no, it is not. I don't know, maybe it's Latin, who knows. Anyways. I don't know. So we were just wondering if What's you, wrong is what I know. If you people out there. <laughs> broad don't know up from down. <laughs> drives I, it insane. does. drives me nuts, man. <laughs> it's just like, a Levens, it's like it's Levens Street, man. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another one that you know that was in someone's name. Oh, there's name. so many. It's every it's day. so many. Yeah. That's why we like you to leave your name and your phone number. If I know your name, I know where you probably live if you've been buying from us and I don't have to listen to that broad. Because she drives me nuts. So, on your orders, as a side note, please leave your name and a phone number. So, if we're running late or we get breakdown or, they got or, that. or whatever, all the videos that's good. I'm going to say it again because y'all aren't leaving your phone number and your name. So, <laughs> obviously, you need to hear it again. It's like our children. Good Lord. Listen. No. Yeah, they don't listen. Yeah. Man. We had a good one. The oldest son broke his collarbone the other day. Get this, check Day it after out. Our wedding, check check, check this honeymoon. out. So, all their lives, I told them when you're riding in the back of the pickup trucks, four wheelers, whatever, Josh sit is down. Love this. Sit, sit down. Do not get up on the wheel well. Don't ride on the rail or whatever. And so, my son, the other day, like a month and a half ago, we're cruising across the pasture and he sticks his leg out Almost on the gator, 25. right? And I'm like, dude, what are you doing? And he goes, what? And I go, don't stick your leg out. Why? I go, because if I hit a bump or something, catch your leg, man, bust your leg off or bust your hip. And he's like, that ain't going to happen. I'm like, whatever, dude. I go, put your leg back in the gator. And he's like, okay, whatever. You know, and he's like all <laughs> tiffy about it. And I'm thinking, wow. You know, it's like, you should. Joshua Hewitt. Anyway, so a couple weeks later, we're cruising around, dump garbage of all things. He jumps in the back of the gator. We're just driving from the garbage uh, burn pile back to the barn. Slowly, my Slowly, you. you know what I mean? And I hit a little tiny dip, a little dip. No, you turn. You did a slight turn, and out of the corner of my eye, I was like, man, I was like, we lost yeah, him. He, he was sitting on the edge. Apparently, he's sitting even... on the rail in the back of the four-wheeler, yeah. went down and busted his collarbone, but good. And, of course, I used my grandpa's old line was... Oh boy, did you learn anything by that experience? And he actually said, yes, I did. But I have to actually experience the things to learn from them. So I don't, I, I, we're betting he probably won't sit on the edge of that thing again. Because every time he's hopped in it since then, he's sat down. And I'm betting if you don't leave your name and phone number and I don't deliver your produce <laughs> that you paid for, that'll be the last time you don't leave your name and phone number. Or that you ever deliver, or, 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 <laughs> or that we ever deliver, yeah. All right, well, we're at our next location to pick up our big irrigation gun, so we will talk to y'all later. Peace out.